today we are going to study about structure of pollen grains which is a topic from sexual reproduction in flowering plants now as you can see in this diagram the structure of pollen grain consists of the outermost layer axine below that there is in time inside the pollen grain the most space is taken by tube cell which contains tube nucleus and generative cell now axine which is the outermost layer consists of fatty substance known as sporopollenin which is highly resistant to many extreme conditions like temperature and thus protects the pollen grain the intine which is the next layer of the pollen grain after axine is smooth in nature and is pectocellulosic it contains many enzymatic proteins which are responsible for exchange of material now between axine and intine there is a space which is germ pore the germ pore is involved in the pollen tube formation once the pollen reaches the stigma after that there is a tube nucleus which is inside the tube cell tube nucleus actually guides the male gametes once the pollen tube has been formed then there is generative cell which after the pollen tube formation divides into two male gametes which are involved in double fertilization so again structure of pollen grain the structure consists of germ pore axine in time tube cell tube nucleus generative cell the outermost layer axine is made up of fatty acid known as sporopollenin which is highly resistant and is protective in nature in time is the next smooth layer which is pectocellulosic and made up of enzymatic proteins involved in the exchange of material the germ pore is involved in pollen tube formation then inside there is a tube nucleus which actually guides the male gametes after the formation of pollen tube towards the ovary and there is generative cell which inside the pollen tube divides into two male gametes which are involved in double fertilization thank you